hey guys so this is going to be my air drying routine now as I get deeper into my transition things are going to be tweaked along the way because obviously my natural hair is drier than my texturized hair of course and we have to remember that our natural hair is of dry nature so whatever you do you have to be consistent if you moisturize yesterday you may have to moisturize the next day and that is completely normal because that is the nature of our hair and I am learning guys so as I am learning I'm taking you along with me I'm very happy to say that I'm six months post texturizer tomorrow. I'm really excited because I have never been six months post in my whole journey of relaxing and texturizing. I've never stretched for six months. So, of course, I'm tra transitioning to natural. So, of course, I'm going to go through all the stages, which are very exciting. I've started oil rinsing and that is really, really helpful. And I'm so glad that I have learned about this at the exact perfect time because when I oil rinse, I do this just after I've deep conditioned, I've washed the deep conditioner out and just before I start my air drying routine of moisturizing, sealing and putting my hair in braids. And it makes my hair so much more manageable because the oil just lubricates my hair and then I seal it in with the water and it's just so amazing guys so like if you're interested if you're doing long stretches or if you're natural it really helps and during the week as well it helps with retaining the moisture. So I'm going to take you through that and show you how I get smooth results. So I hope you enjoy guys. See you in the next clip. Bye. So I'm still testing out grapeseed oil and I'm enjoying it so far. I am applying this oil to my hair while it's wet. I have just rinsed out my deep conditioner and this is the stage I'm going to do before I move on to doing my air drying routine. Now I got this method from doing research on YouTube on natural hair and you can see that my hair is lubricated, my new growth especially is loving it. And when you are doing this method, you need to get an oil that is an emollient. Um, that's what was said when I was doing the research. And this is an oil that is soothing, calming, and it's easily absorbed into the skin or hair. And grapeseed oil is a light oil. And you know my hair is low porosity and I have trouble absorbing things. So, you know, this oil is a light oil. And in terms of oils, I'm beginning to find that lighter oils easily absorb into my hair. So basically what this whole um, oil rinsing thing is, is you start off with water, I guess, because my hair has water in it from rinsing out. Then you put the oil in and then you put water over it to seal the oil. Then I put my moisturizer, the Proline Comb Through Softener over the oil. Then I put the oil finally to seal it so it's a bit crazy it's like a modified lock method it's not the it's not exactly the lock method but I've done my own kind of do my own thing but to avoid complication I kind of see it as I put the oil in then I put the water over it to seal it then I put my moisturizer and then I seal it with um, grapeseed oil again I just can't leave my hair to not be sealed again it just doesn't make sense this oil rinsing has helped my hair just slide and glide and give it so much slip. Usually if I didn't do this it wouldn't be so tangled but it really really does give it that extra. You know with our black hair there's always an extra step to add. It's like a never ending process that it always needs something. So you have to keep giving it what it needs and feed it with the love and care that you have in your heart for it.
I do my braids loose because pulling at my natural hair or doing anything too tight may cause me to have sore scalp. Even with my high buns, I only do my hair bands two times and not three because pulling on my hair causing tension is going to just cause some soreness there. So even though I'm trying to stretch my hair, I like to do it subtly. Remember to always be aware that shed hairs are going to be there so don't let them tangle up with your ends. I do about 10 braids, the same amount of braids every time, 5 on each side. I make sure they're thoroughly moisturised and sealed nicely and it looks like it hasn't absorbed into my hair but by tomorrow morning you will see that it will absorb nicely and my hair will be very well soft and detangled. This is my air drying scarf, I think it's important to separate the scarves that you use. I always use this to air dry overnight so I'm going to see you tomorrow. I'm so happy that I've finished and I've got the rest of the day to myself. <laughs> so this footage is about three months old but this is exactly how my hair looks the next day every time. So basically what I do is that I take the braids down and detangle them and as you can see the comb is gliding right through. At this point my hair has had the chance to absorb all the nutrients that I've given it the day before into my hair and it just becomes so soft and manageable the next day. It is damp but I find a way to work through and gently comb. You have to be very careful when your hair is wet or damp. These days I really just wear a bun. I get complimented the most on this hairstyle and it's so much easier for me. Remember, if you're going to keep doing buns all the time, make sure you change the way that they lay on your hair. Don't leave it always in the same spot. I rotate mine. High buns, medium buns and low buns. But I am enjoying high buns and I definitely don't do them too tight because that's very, very important. I no longer put anything on my scalp anymore. I had a bad experience with hot six oil. So now I just leave it and nothing goes on my scalp, scalp but water when I spray my hair with water every morning. And that's mainly my new growth that I focus on spraying, not my texturized hair. So when it's time to go to sleep, this is the way I do my hair. I put it into like four braids or three braids on each side to further stretch my new growth so that the next day everything will be smooth and laid. So the things I've tweaked about the way I do my high buns is I basically take the braids down the night before, then I spray my new growth with water, not too much, just enough to slightly dampen the hair to just give it moisture and you need to follow up that um, water with some kind of moisture because you know water will dry out easily so we need something to seal that in so I use my proline comb through softener then I smooth it all up and then I use my scarf to flatten everything down and I'm good to go everything's laid at six months post and I'm about to show you pictures of how my buns do come out I am really enjoying this transition and I'm looking forward to learning new things